So remember, right now we have a spots available also for the only socials in Cartagena. Cartagena, only Cartagena. We are not talking about other cities because remember, the only social, we only can uh, open spots one week before the, so uh, the social starts. And sometimes when the tour is full, we cannot, for example, open spots for only socials. So uh, if you are interested, for example, in joining Cartagena tour, remember that uh, the tour starts April 11th and you can uh, join the tour for seven, 10 or 14 days. And uh, during uh, those days, you are going to have the opportunity to assist to the social that we have Friday and Saturday night. You also are going to be able to meet around, this is going to be a small social in Cartagena, so around 50 to 60 girls per night. And also uh, you are going to be able to have the city tour, to go around the beautiful city in Cartagena and also to go in, to one beautiful island that we pick for you uh, during Sunday. So this is an amazing opportunity for you to join an amazing city that has a lot of to offer to those ones that they want a kind of vacation and relaxing time, but also are very interested in meet uh, with uh, the love of their lives. So uh, remember, we have a spots available. If you want to join Cartagena tour, you can do it. Uh, it's the moment to do it also because it's only one week left. Uh, the tour starts next week. So it's very important that you arrange everything with time in advance. Uh, for those ones that maybe are wondering how much is the price for the uh, tour for seven dates, it's $3,395. Uh, $3, uh, remember, $3,395 for seven days. If you are interested to join us for the um, tour that is for 10 days, the price is $3,895. US dollars. And if you want to join uh, the tour for 14 days, the price is $4,395. US dollars. Uh, it's very important that you keep something in mind and is that sometimes, and I always say the same because it's very important that you know that seven days sometimes is not enough to really make a strong connections with the girls. So my suggestion to you is that it stay at least 10 days or 14 days. For example, there are uh, guys that they do that. Uh, they, stay, they stay with us during the tour for 10 days and they stay a couple of extra nights by themselves. So that is an option. And I think that you can consider that option as well because it's very important that you know that sometimes seven days is not enough to really make a strong connections. Of course, if you time doesn't allow you to start, stay more time in doing your vacations, that doesn't matter. You uh, can, you don't have to concern also for that because uh, we have um, also the situations we have a clients that during the uh, seven days a uh, tour they was able to meet with someone but if you have the time my suggestion to you is that it stay a little bit longer here in Colombia and uh, if for example you are interested in joining the only social the price is 650 US dollars okay 650 US dollars per night and so if you want, also you can consider that option that right now for this tour in Cartagena is available for you. And we are very, very excited because like I say, it's going to be our first tour here in Cartagena. And so far it's a small tour, but don't be concerned about that because I don't know, in my personal opinion, sometimes these small tours has a, a magical thing because it's something more personal side for you and uh, of course you are going to have more and more attention of all the beautiful girls that are going to be there and there are going to be less competition for you so uh, I think that it's a great opportunity to join uh, this tour and be able to really have this amazing experience in Cartagena City and uh, I also want to uh, um, talk a little bit about that situation that we are having a uh, a lot <laughs> lately and um, for uh, what uh, you are also asking us a lot uh, and of course 
uh, some of you, you cannot connect um, every Wednesday or right now we are doing um, our Latin shows every 15 days. So uh, of course, uh, sometimes the information, um, you are not going to have all the information that we are uh, sharing with uh, all of you. But I want to refresh memories because sometimes I, I explain something and maybe you will say like, oh my God, you already spoke about that. So we don't need to listen again. But remember, every week, every 15 days, we have new uh, people that is joining in this webcast. And the idea is that everybody has information and uh, everybody also uh, has uh, a, little, a little bit of the knowledge uh, about what is happening and how is um, what is the situation here in Colombia. And uh, we are having the uh, like a little bit uh, of issues because lately, uh, prostitution is taking a lot of uh, power in some cities, specifically here in Medellin and Cartagena. Uh, but uh, lately, the biggest concern is like uh, a lot of people is uh, coming from around the world, um, specific to Medellin, to look for uh, prostitutes, okay? And what is happening is like they put themselves in situation of dangers. Because, of course, it's persons that they don't know. Uh, sometimes behind these prostitutes uh, are bad people. And uh, there is a lot of, a lot of uh, things behind all these uh, issues that we are having right now. And I think that prostitution is everywhere. It's not only in Colombia. It's not only, uh, I don't know, Mexico or Peru. It's around the world. But uh, it's very sad because lately we're having cases where guys from uh, other uh, countries are coming here to look for children and to have the possibility to have sex with uh, little kids that are under the legal age. So uh, I don't know if for you uh, it was possible to listen the news lately and be able to see all these problems that we are having with tourists that are looking for sex here in Medellin and also uh, how of uh, these guys ended up sometimes um, and I don't want to say and that the excuse is like oh they are looking for danger so that is what can happen to them because of course the idea is that nothing bad happened to anybody but um, we want to give you some advices about things that you have to keep in mind when you travel to a country that you don't know when you travel uh, to a country that the culture, the way that people act, the way that people behave is different than in your country. So it's very important that right now you keep in mind um, that is better, that if you came to Colombia, you don't use uh, any dating app. Uh, why? And also I want to explain to you, there is a big difference with a, between a dating app and um, Mary agency like us, like AFA, and uh, the biggest one is that uh, usually, usually no, all the time, uh, we make sure that the person that is going to sign up with us, the girl that is going to sign up with us, uh, give us a, her ID information. So with her ID information, we can reach for her in a, her records, her police records, and be able to see her background and uh, be able to see if maybe she has some issues in the past with the police or with something. And in that kind of case, we delete the profile. We don't submit this profile to our website. And also we know how to locate uh, this person because we ask for her address, we ask for her cell phone number, we ask for a third, second and third cell phone number from her mom, her friend, someone that knows her and that can speak about her. Uh, and also we ask her for a, a lot of information that they have to provide to us. So usually in a dating app, uh, these are things that doesn't happen. Uh, nobody knows if, I don't know, Camila uh, Valentina is the person that she said that it is, right? Uh, sometimes they can give uh, fake information. And in a dating app, dating app is very easy maybe to submit information that is not real. So um, the biggest difference is like with us, you are safe. You have an office where you can go through. You can 
spoke with the manager, you can spoke with someone there that is going to help you in all this process and is going to make this process more easy for you and also is going to explain you how everything works and it's going to make you a little bit more uh, secure and safe about the fact that you're in a different country with different people that you don't know. The other thing is uh, about when you go out. Uh, usually I recommend to the people that come to us the places that they can visit during the night. But for example, if you came by yourself and you wanna have a fun night, my recommendation to you is like, please be very aware of your drinks. Don't put your drinks on the table and go to the bathroom and leave your uh, drinks for a lot of time alone because in that kind of cases, sometimes uh, girls or guys that are close to your table, they can take advantage of this and put drugs into your uh, drinks. And of course, you don't want to allow this situation happen to you because of course you can uh, put yourself in a really, really bad situation where someone can steal from you. Uh, okay, sometimes here in Medellin also, uh, it's very common that people invite you to private parties, that they tell you like, oh, there is a farm uh, outside of the city. Uh, if you want, you can go, maybe you have to pay this and that, but you don't know the people that is going to go. You don't know anybody there in that party. So if you don't know the places, Please, it's better that you don't go to any place that you really don't know with people that you don't know. Because also you can put yourself in the situation where someone can take advantage of, advance, advance of you. Uh, so be careful with these kind of invitations and think twice, like put a um, logical to the situation, like, okay, I'm going to a place that I don't know that is far, that I don't know how I'm going to return if I want to return, uh, it's just things that you have to put logical and uh, know that here the people can be very friendly, but also you have to be very careful in who you are going to trust here. Uh, also, it's very important, uh, some cell phones, they have apps where you can share your location with people that you know or with your family. So all the time, uh, let your friends and family know about the places that you are going and with who you are going. If, I don't know, you meet with someone and uh, you are going to go out with that person, send a picture to one of your close friends or your mom or your dad, if you're very close to them, uh, to let them know like, okay, I'm going to go out with this person, this is the picture of her, and so you know with who I am going to be with. Uh, be very careful with your personal uh, belongings, like cell phone, jewelry. Here in Colombia, uh, it's better that you don't uh, wear expensive jewelry because that calls a lot of attention and you don't need all that uh, attention from people that you don't know again. Uh, so it's better that you stay playing here with uh, very expensive jewelry or showing off a lot. That is something that you have to trying to avoid here in Medellin eh, or Cartagena or whatever city, but it's specifically more here in Medellin, for example, when it's a it, it's a biggest, biggest city. And of course, eh, there are more people from around everywhere and you don't want to call the attention of the wrong people here. And eh, other eh, advice to you is that here in Colombia, Uber is completely legal and we have other apps like InDriver, like Cabify, eh, that you can use with any problem. And usually I recommend Uber is the, is the one that I always eh, use. And I think that is the most eh, safe app for me. But eh, Remember there are other apps here also that you can use. And I recommend you better to use apps that can give you the price right away than take a taxi out of the street. Because sometimes you don't know the prices, you don't know the routes, and it's better if you take the app and you can see the route that the person is going and also you can know who is taking you to the place that you need to go. So those ones are my advices for you about a, a something that is important that you keep in mind if you want to visit Colombia. 
and you keep in mind in case that you will, uh, want to visit and go around in whatever city that uh, you want to go here in Colombia. But of course, uh, it's very sad because sometimes uh, you have to be more careful uh, in some places than others. And uh, of course, uh, again, I don't want to say that Colombia is a dangerous place, but it's a place where you have to be more careful and where you have to have common sense. That's it. That is the word, common sense about um, uh, the things that you are going to do. So don't go to random places, stay in the tourist areas, and I'm sure that you are going to be okay. And uh, also tonight we have um, a special interview with a beautiful, beautiful girl from here, from Medellin. And she was, uh, she joined us uh, doing uh, our uh, tour here in Medellin. Uh, and we was able to see her in person. And oh my God, she's stunning. And I love the fact that her English is great. And uh, she's a very, very pretty girl. And uh, we are happy to say that she's going to be uh, or next right now, a future girl. So her name is Isabella and her ID number is 2178. 977. And so now you, we are going to show a little bit of her interview and remember you that she is our new uh, future girl for this month. And if you want to contact her, remember, because she's the future girl, you can send the first letter for free to her. Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Isabella. I'm 24 years old. I'm from Medellin, Colombia. And what I'm working right now is as model here in Colombia. What are your hobbies? One of my uh, passions is yoga. I also love to read, to do exercise, to go to the gym. I love to do hiking. Um, and the thing I really like is to try new things, go to a um, nice restaurant, and spend time in the nature. What are you looking for in the agency? I'm looking in the agency a man who is respectful, who is a gentleman, who teach me new things and new skills because I really love to learn. What do you have to offer in a relationship? I'm a very calm, very peaceful, and very loving woman, and uh, I'm a very good listener, and I give very nice advice. How would you describe yourself? I describe myself as an intelligent woman, I'm loving, I'm very calm and peaceful, and I think that's the most important thing I can give to someone. Would you be willing to have children? At this moment, I don't have children, but in the future, uh, I want to have. Do you like to cook? What is your favorite food? I like to cook. I'm a good cooker. Um, not the best one, but I know how to do some things. Uh, but I like to cook sometimes. My favorite dish is salmon. Where would you like to travel with your partner? So my favorite place that I want to visit first is Venice. It has been always my dream, but I want to go also to Bali to do yoga in the beaches and to do like a spiritual retirement. I would like that. What do you expect from a partner? So I want that the man that comes to my life, teach me new things, uh, support me. Um, yeah protect me and uh, be a respectful and also a loving man. What attracts you in a man? Um, intelligence, of course. A man who can make me smile. A man that is calm too and is focused in life and is a family man and enjoy the best things in life and also the simple things in life. What are those non-negotiables? My non-negotiables? I've been um, knowing more about myself and for me it's very important a man that likes nature 
and also that likes uh, animals and that want to have good health, like uh, like to eat healthy and like to do exercise. And it's good to eat to restaurants, but it's also good to eat healthy. It's a balance. So this is the city of the eternal spring. Now it's very nice that you can come and meet me and I can teach you some things about my city. Um, I love to have fun. I love to go to the best places here. And um, if you want to know more about me, you can uh, contact me, okay? Bye, thank you. And remember for those ones that are wondering what is her AID number, it's 217977. She is going to be the future girl for this month. So remember, if you want to send a letter, the first one is for free. Uh, and you can see maybe if she's interested in meet with you. And uh, remember, she's from Medellin and uh, she's a beautiful, uh, smart, intelligent girl. So I think that she has a lot of qualities that a lot of guys are looking for in a girl. Plus, she's a star. I mean, she is a beautiful, beautiful girl in person. And she's very tall as well. If you are wondering, like here in Colombia, we don't have tall girls. Isabella is a, the proof to show you that, yes, they are. Of course, it's not the common thing. Usually, uh, not all Colombians, we are very tall. But um, of course, there are a uh, beautiful tall girls here. In, in case that there are guys that likes tall girls, uh, and also I'm starting to see that we have a couple of questions here. So I want to start to answering a couple of them. So we have time uh, during the live to answer the questions because this is the first thing and the principal thing I guess uh, do, uh, that makes sense to this webcast. So we have a uh, Leo that he says, I'm looking to meet nice ladies between 35 to 45, looking for a future wife. Someone willing to relocate to United States. So Leo, uh, I want to let you know that yes, of course, in, around Colombia, we have beautiful girls in between that ages. And also usually, I don't know, Leo, what is your age? But usually these girls, I think that is a great number age rate that you are looking for because usually are girls that are a, a little bit more down to earth um, when they are between those ages and um, some of them are, are willing to relocate in United States some of them no uh, but of course that can be one of the questions that we can uh, do to the girls that you want to meet before you meet with them uh, to see if they are willing to relocate. And if they say yes, we can set it up the date for them and uh, with them. Uh, so I think that that can be an option, a great option for you in case that you want to um, look for only girls that want to move to the United States with them. Uh, we have Bunit, uh, he's asking, do the individual tours include the hotel? And the answer is no. Uh, the only uh, plan that we have so far that includes hotel is uh, the tours. The tours include a uh, hotel accommodation, includes also airport pickup, includes the two social nights that you are going to have during Friday and Saturday night, includes also the assistance and, and help from the office to set it up all the dates. It also includes a city tour for you. And uh, we have plenty of activities that you, we do during the, during the tours here that also you can join us and be able to participate. So I think that is a great experience that we are going to have. And that one is the only one plan that we have that includes the hotel. Uh, but the individual tours, no, they don't include a hotel. And also guys, I want to mention now that you are uh, talking about individual tours about our uh, VIP program because right now uh, I feel it like that and it's not like I feel it is the reality and is that is one of the most successful programs that we have 
And uh, it's very successful because um, it's a couple of months. It's a process, it's a big process where you are going to be able uh, to follow step by step um, a couple of interviews and in video calls. In this case, we don't have to call it interviews because in the end it's not like you are looking for a job. And um, we do a couple of video calls during this process. And it's great because you are going to have the possibility to have at least during a four months, around four months, um, video calls during every week for two months, okay? Where you're going to have every week video calls with beautiful girls that uh, we are going to show for you and also girls that are in your hot list. And of course, the girls that we are going to introduce you are going to be based in what you are looking for, based in a, what you tell us that for you it's important to find in the next person that you want to speak her your life. And we do also a video uh, for this program, a uh, um, video where you talk about yourself, where you um, tell us also a little bit about what you are looking for. And this video we shared with the girls so they can see and learn a little bit more about you before they say, yes, I'm interested in have a video call with him or no. And uh, after that, we start to set it up video calls uh, during two months. And during this time, uh, you have also an interpreter that is going to help you all the time uh, during these video calls. So don't be worried about the communication because remember, you are going to have a whole team uh, working for you, finding girls for you, and finding the special girl because that is the most important thing. Not only to have a lot of plenty of dates, also, uh, the main thing about um, this program is to find the special one. Uh, so after these two months, you are going to be able to meet with your top, top 10 or top five of girls. And, it, and something that is very nice about this program, uh, I think that is the thing that I really like most about this program, uh, is that it's not focused only in one city. It's focused around Colombia. So we are going to show you girls from Cartagena, from Barranquilla, from Medellin, from Cali, from Bogota, that uh, of course uh, goes in the same way that you are, are looking for the same like you. Uh, this program is, like I say, one of our most successful programs so far. Uh, and uh, also remember if you want to uh, know a little bit more about this program, you can let us know. Uh, the price is 8,000 US dollars. Um, and remember, for the time that this program is going to be, and uh, the possibility that you have to meet girls from all Colombia, this is a very good price. Um, and like I said, it's one of our most successful plans that we have so far in AFA. So if you want to know more about this program, please let us know. You can read us through our email that is here um, and we can tell you a little bit more about how everything works. So let's continue here, seeing more about your question. Mm -hmm. Brian, hello, Manuela. I have recently started watching the videos and in one of them, you say you have lived in Massachusetts. Do you mind me asking where and when? Okay, Brian, no, of course I don't mind. Um, it's funny because I was not never able to know how was the correct way to pronounce the name of the town that I was. And the name is Wenham. Um, it's like 15 minutes uh, far from Salem. The, the witch of the the town of the witches and so the name is Wenham I think Wenham Wenham I don't know how is the correct way to say it and it's like maybe 45 minutes away from Massachusetts but I really like the state and I really like Boston and the experience that I have there and I was there in 2016 so a lot of time ago <laughs> so I imagine that things are very different uh, now 
Bonnie, I have gone to Costa Rica and Barranquilla tours, thinking about Medellin next time. Costa Rica, I do say, is more beginner friendly. Um, the manager is more hands up there. So, um, Bonnie, yes, every experience is different. And like I say, I don't know how things sometimes work in other countries uh, with, the, with the tours. But I can talk about the tours that we have here in Colombia that are amazing tours. And here in Medellin, um, I feel that, uh, of course, it's my city. I love my city here. And I always have good things about to say about uh, my city and the people here. So I'm sure that if you came to Medellin, you are not going to have any regrets. And I don't know if maybe there are someone uh, that joined us in our last tour here in Medellin that maybe is connected and can tell you a little bit about the tour and how it was. And I think that most of the guys, if it's not all of them, and they told us only positive things. And of course they have an amazing and great experience. But very important, listen to us. Listen our advices, please. Let's see more. Okay, Bonnet. I have only heard good things about Medellin. My friend has been on tours there and my family has been many times for business. Comes highly recommend. Hey, Bonnet, yes. It's only that I, I, like I say, I don't know if it's very, um, like I'm not a neutral person to ask <laughs> because I love my city again and I, I, I only have positive things about uh, to say about Medellin. But of course, I'm not going to de deny certain situations that are happening here. But um, I think there are situations that happen also around the world that we have to be careful and that is a reality, whatever you go, whatever country that you are visiting or whatever city that you go, you have to be careful. And um, right now, yes, the society maybe is not the same that was named. I don't know, 20 years ago, that maybe was a little bit more safe for kids and for children. And now you have to be more careful with certain kind of situations. But I feel that managing has a lot of magic and a lot of good things to offer. And, and I think that in general, it's more the positive things about managing than the negative ones. And I feel that most of the times it's only good experience about managing. <clears throat> Uh, okay, Bonnet, uh, are there better times for individual tours and how much notice do you need from the mean before they can arrive? Uh, okay, Bonnet, um, for individual tours, uh, for the times, my suggestion to you, my personal suggestion to you, it's that usually, at least, for example, in big cities like Barranquilla, like Medellin, usually it's better that when you plan uh, your visit here uh, in the cities, uh, you trying to see if there are a lot of holidays because during the holidays, uh, a lot of people from cities, from big cities, uh, they go out of the city to Cartagena, to towns, to other places. So it's more difficult to set it up dates when it's holidays uh, in the cities, right? Uh, for example, if we have a, a this like a spring break uh, a couple of weeks ago, and at least here in Medellin and Barranquilla, it's a little bit more difficult to set it up dates during that time because the city is very lonely and it's like empty and because most of the people, they go out of the city to towns, to farms, to other cities to enjoy those days off with them family and friends. So my suggestion to you is like, just take a, a look of when it's going to be a holiday, um, important holiday, uh, because it's no holidays. Uh, and most of the times I will say like, it's more like spring break and Christmas time. The time that I usually don't recommend to come um, to big cities uh, because the city is very empty during that time. Uh, again, we can set it up dates for you, but maybe you're not going to have the same number 
of dates that maybe you can have in a normal in a normal date. Um, so uh, that is my suggestion to you. But usually around the whole year, it's fine. And uh, the cities are very nice. And here is a very tropical weather. So you are not going to have any problem here. And um, uh, forwards the weather in uh, Cartagena, I have to say that Cartagena almost the whole year you can visit it and it's not going to be any problem. But again, again, usually Christmas time here, at least in Colombia, is a big thing when you where you have you want to spend that time with your family and close friends. So during that specific time, yes, it's a little bit more difficult to set it updates because the girls are in other uh, kind of situation and they are not thinking a lot of invades. They are thinking more in the time with their families and friends. <clears throat> Okay, are Uber safe? Any Uber robberies? I hear taxis are a no no. So it's squishy, eh? And hi, squishy. <laughs> so Ubers, yes, it's safe here in Colombia. Wherever you wanna take a Uber, you are going to be fine. One thing about Uber is that sometimes the Uber eh, driver is going to tell you to sit in front with him or with her. Um, just do it because here in Colombia, Uber is not like um. Eh, legal 100% and I say 100% because in kind of way it's a little bit of legal and so sometimes the drivers they like that the person sit next to them and but again there is no any problem with Uber and it's an app that works perfectly well around Colombia so if you have it with you I think that is the best app that you can use in Colombia and taxis is not like it's a no no because sometimes it's easy if you go from one place very close to other, and maybe you already know uh, what is the route to go there. Uh, but yeah. usually, yes, it's not something that I recommend a lot. Uh, Chris, stay off the dating apps, guys. That's where travels come from. Yes, I have to say that um, is sad, but the reality is like, now you have to be more and more careful because like you see in Netflix, I remember that a couple of years ago, I saw like a, a guy that was uh, making himself to uh, look like the person that he was not in real. And he was able to get money from a lot of girls and no, and was not here in Colombia, was, was in other country. And that is something that happened around the world. Like sometimes you don't know through that apps who is who and if you really can trust in the person that is introducing with you there. Here at least you have a, a team that is going to pay attention to you all the time and that also can give you advices and also you can uh, reach and we are going to try to help you all the time that we can with the people that you met through us. So, okay, I answer a couple of questions and now it's time to show you a little bit about the interview that we have with August. And he was a client uh, that we have in this Medellin tour uh, with an amazing energy. He is a very, very nice and charming guy. And uh, of course he was uh, joined us during the tour here in Medellin. And I wanna say that August was our only social uh, so remember, if you are interested in joining the only social for Cartagena next week, uh, right now we have spots available. So just let us know. And I hope that you enjoy the interview with August. And this one is our second night here in Medellin. And I'm with Augustus. Hi, Augustus. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you doing tonight, Manuela? I'm doing great. And thank you so much for joining us tonight. And also, I want to ask you, like, so far from what you see, what you can tell us? Like, it is like amazing. What I absolutely love what I see. It's very amazing. And to see the diversity in the room and the warmness and everyone make me feel welcome. But you made me feel welcome oh. coming from the States because I've never been to one of these social events. I'm glad that you feel welcome here. And one part that is very important for the guys to know when they visit a city or a country that they don't know is that there are someone there all the time in touch with you and the guys that wants to visit Colombia. 
making sure that you are doing well. So I think that so far you are doing well, and so far yes. everything was fine. You were so nice. You checked on me. And I was on the airplane flying here when I left Atlanta to change in Bogota. You told me the time of the event and the address. So people have checked on me to make sure I'm okay. But I've been coming to Colombia since 2021, but only Medellin three times. And what do you think about Medellin? You like the city? Oh my God! The city. What you can the tell city, me guys about the city? Guys, the city is amazing. The weather is perfect. I travel all over the world. No one has better weather than Medellin. The food is amazing. Today, I went to an Italian restaurant and I had salmon lasagna. The food, the culture, and the people are amazing. Even though I spent a lot of time in Cartagena the last two years, I have fallen in love with Medellin and I'm considering retiring here one day. Oh my God, that is great. I mean, hope to see you more often here in Medellin. And I, was, I want to take uh, talk about this topic because some guys, I think that Medellin is a little bit dangerous uh, for these days. And I want to know, like, what do you feel about Medellin, about the vibe that the city gives you so far? Okay, this is important because back in America, we hear a lot of the guys that have been scoped or scopolamine or robbed or beaten. But you can't, that's not all of Medellin. These are guys who go looking for the wrong kind of girls in the wrong neighborhoods and they do drugs. And there's a price for doing that. I have never not felt safe here. I came to Colombia seven times last year, no problems. This is my third time in Medellin, no problem. The people are friendly and welcome. All over the world, they're dangerous places, so you just avoid those places. But what you see on TV is not representative of this great city, Medellin. Oh, thank you so much for that. And I have to say, I'm not paying you, so this No, she is not paying me. I pay to come here. <laughs> yes. So no dinero para mí. <laughs> so in the end, these words are coming from the heart because... Yes. It's, it's like I always say, dangerous there is around everywhere. Yes. You have to be very careful about the places and the uh, bars and, yes, and people also that you can get out. I want to say one more thing. She's exactly right. If you look for girls on dating apps like Tinder, yeah. you're putting yourself at risk. You need to come to these events where you meet quality working women. Thank you so much for that, Augustus. And I want to know how you ended up knowing about the agency, how you uh, find out about Medellin and how you took the decision to visit Medellin instead of other cities. I, the world. I kept hearing so much about Medellin and reading about it in the paper. And, and in Cartagena, I met a girl last year from Medellin okay. and she kept talking about the city. And in America, everyone associates the city with the Escobar years, but it's a totally different city. So last year, I just took a chance and came down in November Love it so much, I came back in December. Now, the way I found out about the agency was by accident. I was up one night, late one night, writing a speech, and a commercial came on YouTube about Columbia Lady and social events. So I joined the site in January, J January, yeah. like last month. And here I am. <laughs> oh my God, thank you so much, Augustus, for trusting us, for being here tonight. Yes. I really hope that you can find a really beautiful Colombian lady from here, from Medellin. I've already met her, but oh. keep going. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope to see you more often here in the city. And of course, thank you so much for in this interview. I'm honored. That helps to the guys to know a little bit more closely about the culture, about how is the environment here. Amazing culture. Uh, that helps to the guys to take the decision to visit Medellin in the yes. future. Thank you so much. Thank for you that. for having me. All right. So I hope that you enjoyed the interview with Augustus. I want to correct his name because if not, he's going to kill me. <laughs> uh, and uh, like I said, uh, right now we have spots available for those ones that want to join the tour in Cartagena and wants to do the only social. Like I say, Augustus was an only social and uh, you only have to have great energy. You only have to be very positive and enjoy all the more. Now I'm going to continue with the questions because like I say, usually that is my priority here uh, to be able to answer all of your questions, guys. Uh, James, 24, too young for me. She is beautiful, dog. Uh, yes, James, she is very beautiful. And again, remember, not all the girls that we are going to show you during uh, our Latin show maybe are the girl for you, but maybe Isabella can be the girl for someone else. And uh, this is something that we want to show you because this is the proof that we have that here in Colombia, we have beautiful girls, young girls that are looking for something stable and also girls that they have a really good English. So I think that that is a great combination to introduce you. 
uh, with. Uh, let me see Dietrich. Uh, he's uh, saying, are there any with degrees and singles? Uh, Dietrich, uh, I have to say that, of course, if we introduce you with someone, we hope and we expect that all the girls are uh, single. Uh, of course, this is like the first question that we did to the girls. And I think that is the main thing that they have to have when they want to join the agency, they have to be single. Um, and with degrees, of course, we have plenty of girls that they have degrees, that they are singles, that they don't have kids. So we only have to make a search and see which of these girls also um, calls your attention. Rodolfo. Uh, how many women can you invite to go out with you during your nine days being there? Uh, Rodolfo, usually, uh, I think that like the most, uh, how I say it, the most uh, normal uh, number is three, three girls per day. No more than three because we can do it. It's not like no, uh, even like we have cases where we do it uh, sometimes. Um, but uh, you have to keep in mind that going in dates and dates and dates, sometimes it's a little bit exhausting. So I'm sure that uh, after three dates of having three dates per day, uh, you're going to let us know like, okay, one or two dates are fine per day. But uh, you can have as many as dates as you want. You only have to keep in mind, Rodolfo, that you are on vacation. So you have your time free all the time, but the girls sometimes they work. So we have to make sure that the time that you are available is the time that the girl is available as well. So we only trying to feed that. And of course, if the girl can have a day with you in whatever time you can do it too, uh, we arrange the dates with them. Uh, and other important thing, guys, we don't do blind dates. So uh, it's very important that you keep in mind that if you have a hot list of girls, um, you expect that no, the girls are going to say yes for you, but also there are a couple of them that are going to say yes. So don't be sad, don't be disappointed because that is normal. That is completely normal and it's a very important part of the process because feel that something weird is happening when all the girls, they say yes to meet with you. But uh, usually this is important because also you don't have and you don't want to waste time with someone that is not very interested in you, right? Uh, let me see, Bonit, when is a Bogota office going to open up? Um, Bonit, so far, it's not going to be very, very soon, but uh, this is something that, of course, we are uh, thinking. Uh, I think that Bogota and Cali are uh, one of the cities that we are thinking in have an office there, but so far, we cannot give you like a date for that. Uh, organic chocolate. I found love. Things have been going pretty smooth with the lady. A very thoughtful woman. Oh, organic, that is great. I'm very, very happy because sometimes things don't work in the way that we want. But finally, if we are patient, if we are looking for that special one, we are going to be able to find it. So I'm very, very happy that you are able to find a very amazing girl. Jose, uh, from what I hear, the girls in Barranquilla are more child and down to earth. Jose, I have to tell you that um, it's that depends. I mean, I have to say that it's different from one city to other. And in Barranquilla, I have to say that the girls, um, maybe, I don't know how to say it, like it's, it's a more a small city. Uh, sometimes I the expectations that the girl in Barranquilla ha, uh, have are not the same ones that, for example, a girl from Medellin. Uh, but uh, of course, I feel that uh, girls uh, down to her are around everywhere. Uh, I'm from Medellin, and if, for example, I have to say that I feel that I'm a very down to earth person uh, when I talk about relationship. But uh, of course, I think that the this sometimes doesn't depend a lot of about the person or uh, about the place, sorry, it depends more about the person. Um, and also uh, maybe in what you are looking for. But uh, of course, Barranquilla has amazing girls and girls that are looking for something very serious.
I shall find out in person this 26 how the girls are in Medellin. Yes, Jose, now I, I know who you are. <laughs> Sometimes with the names, I don't I don't remember. But yes, of course, and I hope that I'm going to be able to see you very, very soon. And I hope we can find a very beautiful girl for you here in Medellin. It may take effort to claim a woman, but you don't have to deal with the drama with a local woman. Okay, that is an advice and we can take it too. Thank you so much, Chris, for that. Uh, Jeppy, can we have some more information about girls on the website when we look at the girls' profile, their profession and their level of English? Uh, Jeppy, uh, sometimes I think that uh, we have, I mean, the level, I don't know, like, for example, what kind? Because so, uh, we trying to put it like if she has a good affair, um, a excellent English, uh, we put that in her profile usually, right? Uh, and about the profession, also we trying to put the profession. Sometimes there are girls that maybe they don't have any profession. So in that cases, we don't put anything. But uh, if you have ideas, please, of course, share that ideas with us or you can read us through our email and give us that ideas. And the idea always is to improve. So, of course, we are going to take those advices. Thank you so much, JB. Uh, organic chocolate. Medellin is affected by gentrification caused by gringos tourists. Uh, I don't know. I, I think that is a very deep uh, conversation. <laughs> and I, I don't want to, uh, I think I don't want to judge or say that it's only one uh, side uh, um, fault. I think that is um, a, a problem that has a deep um, context, uh, of course. But um, yes, it's very sad that sometimes uh, there are people uh, from other parts of the world that they see that here in um, Colombia, we have a lake in our um, lows. Uh, so they take advantage of these lakes that we have. And um, they they think that, of course, sometimes it's easy to come here and maybe be able to do things that maybe in the country they will not do. And sometimes it's very sad because uh, this changed the perspective that uh, a couple of people can have about uh, when a tourist came to Colombia, right? So right now there are people that they they think in them in mind that a lot of guys uh, where they came here to Colombia, maybe they are looking only for sex and drugs, and that is not the reality. And we have a lot of plenty of good guys that are coming from other countries that are looking for something nice and real. And like I always say, you no know, for three five persons we can say people we can say that everybody is bad, right? Like. We cannot say that for a couple of cases about something that happened here in Colombia with foreigners, we can uh, also say that Colombia is the most dangerous place. I think that this is a, <clears throat> a cases that are happening uh, that thank God so, uh, is not like a lot, but of course we have to start to be concerned about how we can fix the problem and how, what we can do as a society to improve every day and be able to show the best of the best for people that wants to visit Medellin and also what to do with these people that is visiting Colombia and also uh, they are causing problems too, of course. But I, I have to say that is not everybody and thank God it's only a few uh, people, the ones that are doing that. Uh, so let's hope that everything improves for everybody. And I'm sure that uh, the next news about Colombia are going to be more, more positive. And also I want to end it up the show uh, showing you a little bit about a beautiful couple that uh, we have the opportunity to connect with. And uh, it's a very young couple and we feel very proud because this is an example that real love can happen to us. And this is the kind of uh, success cases that uh, we love to share. 
So I'm going to give you the name of this beautiful couple that I have here, that is Hades and Clint. Uh, and they met through us, and right now they are happily married, and they are uh, sharing their life uh, together. So I hope that you enjoyed this video, and it's very nice to join you during uh, these Latin shows. And remember, if you have more questions, if you want to know more about AFA, you can contact us during, uh, through this email that you are seeing in the screen. And also remember that um, we are going to be connected here, trying to be connected here every 15 days to be able to share information with you and let you know what is coming next here in Colombia. So thank you so much for joining us. And I hope that you enjoyed this interview uh, that we have for you, this testimony, beautiful testimony of this beautiful couple. Have a great, great night. Estamos aquí en la ciudad de Cartagena, nuevamente con una gran visita de Heidi y Clint. Eh, esta es la tercera venida de Clint a la ciudad. Cuéntanos, Heidi, cómo te has sentido, cómo ha sido la experiencia para ustedes como pareja. Bueno, es una gran experiencia. Esta tercera visita que ha tenido mi pareja ha sido un momento más familiar. Hemos tratado de que el encuentro sea como más conmigo, como este para determinar cómo es la convivencia entre nosotros dos. Eh, la verdad, me siento muy contenta, estoy muy feliz. Eh, bueno, Dios mío, ¿sabe cuánto lo amo? Te lo he demostrado porque él me ha sentido especial y no solo me lo demuestra con palabras, sino que me lo demuestra con sus actos de amor, eh, con venidas, exactamente de mí, de mi hijo, de mi familia también. Es, Lynn, <laughs> this is your first visit here in Cartagena. How do you feel about that? I, I really love it here. I mean, it's nice and warm. It's, it's warmer than where I'm from, so I have to freeze for a little bit and you get to come see her and her family and get to, get, uh, get to know her more and what, what her life's about. It's a lot different than mine. So in this time, you share more time with her, with her son, with her family, and um, this is important for you, right? Yeah, family's important. I mean, I, I, I plan on coming back here often once so I get her up there with the United States with me, so I mean, it's not like we're done here, so we get, we'll have a lot of, a lot of lifetime to get to know her family and continue to grow with her. Grandísima, que se iba a morir, o me iba a morir yo, pero si hay algo, todo es posible. Entonces, feliz, 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 Continue the night with beautiful girls, and now I'm with Helen, and her ID number is the 213116. How, Helen? How are you? Hi, I'm going well. Thanks for asking. Oh, that is great. So, Helen, we are going to start uh, knowing a little bit more about yourself. So, the idea is that you tell.